I cannot believe it. It has now been just over four months since I started this YouTube channel. Let's go over some of the statistics and some of the analytics on how the channel has performed and some of the benefits of what we've seen so far. Okay, so since the 1st of February, it's now the 12th of June, so in and around about four months, maybe just over, a little over four months, we have done an increase of 82 subscribers, which doesn't seem like a lot. We have done 3,900 views. Meh. We have done 194 hours of watch time. That means for eight days straight, people have watched my face. That's a bit mad. During that time, I've done 19 long form videos. So those are the ones that I would count as something like this, where it's like 10 minutes plus or something, and about seven YouTube shorts. So they're the ones that are less than a minute in length. Not bad. So during those four and a bit months, what have we learned? I think number one, I invested, I think it was about 2,500 euros or something into a course with Ali Abdal on YouTube. And you know, the guy has walked the walk. He's built a channel successfully, millions of subscribers, lots of views. And so my whole thesis and thought process behind this was to learn from somebody who's actually done it and use their experience in order to hopefully push myself along, which it did. He, his course was fantastic. I was a part of cohort eight. You get lots of feedback and lots of information on how to build a YouTube channel. But I think it's in a very generic cutty cutter kind of a state as in you're being asked to find your voice, find your niche, find your you know different parts of who you are and I think it's a great overall template on how to go and do these things but realistically I still needed to go and to do the work and the work for me is what is this channel about who is my dream audience what is the actual goal of the channel who is my target audience and where do I find them how do I engage with them and all of those other aspects so I think there was a longer piece of fundamental work that I needed to accomplish which together with what Ali and his team were providing is a great recipe but a long-term recipe there's no silver bullet in this scenario that I've learned second point that I've learned is that it takes a long time. Four months in this game actually means very, very little. It's, I think it was Alex Hormozzi who is a little bit kind of marmite. Some people love him, some people hate him. I think he says some really good things, but it took him four, maybe five years. I think he's now in his fifth year of doing his podcast, which is like absolutely blown up and everybody knows about it now. But back then, four years ago, I wouldn't say a lot of people knew about his stuff or his content but he was at it consistently, as in he was recording new episodes, I think twice per week and uploading them every single week. And only after four years did the whole thing really start to mushroom. And I know that he like, honestly, he's done some really clever marketing tricks this year or in the last year, which has caused a lot of the success. But it really goes to the point that you have to invest consistently. You can't just expect for the results to come all of a sudden, they take time, you have to build up momentum and post consistently. Point number three and kind of carrying on from point number two is consistency. I've done a lot of kind of experimentation with the channel over those four months. I have tried to test posting on Sundays. I have tried to test posting on Fridays and Saturdays and tried to find when the most optimal day is. But honestly, the audience isn't big enough to make those huge instrumental changes. But I think something that YouTube absolutely loves is consistently posting. As in, if you're gonna post every single Saturday at 10 a.m., stick to every Saturday at 10 a.m. And the minute that you start to drop off with that, it's starting to think that you're pulling back and that you're not actually posting consistently. So I would highly, highly encourage people to, if you're gonna stick to a timeline, stick to that timeline. So now I've kind of re-architected the whole thing. And so I'm gonna do a YouTube short on Tuesday and Thursdays, and then the long form one of these posts on a Saturday moving forward, just to see what that's going to be like. I also kind of changed the, the format. So I went from vlogging style, which is something that I was very used to because I kind of grew up with the whole Casey Neistat era, let's say. And then as things kind of changed, well, I started to do more and more of the vlog style content at the beginning. It went okay, but went okay in the sense that the channel was only getting off the ground and so you're not gonna get a ton of views. 
But then during the Ali Abdal course, it's uh, we don't think that you should be doing the vlog format at all. And you should do the standard YouTube, hey, five things, blah, blah, blah. And I think having a marriage between both is where the sweet spot is going to be. I'm doing that. I want to show behind the scenes of what it's like in here, what it's like building mini corp and building businesses and also the health aspect of that life of going to the gym, being as healthy as you possibly can so that you can show up to work and really kick ass at the things that you're building, which is savage. But consistency is a key and I now need to nail two shorts, one long form content, piece of content. For me. The last point is to beep the metrics, as in F the metrics. When I would start to post at the very beginning, I would get so in fact, I would have the YouTube YouTube studio app on my phone. This thing, you can see all your stats, all your analytics of who's watching who and who's like, what's it been in the last 24 hours? And I would watch the thing religiously. I'd be there staring at it going, ooh, another view. <laughs> and it's such a waste of time because the way that it actually tends to work is that your audience slowly builds. I think community takes time, as we all know, and to get really organic and connected community takes time to build. And if I look at the flip side of the actual metrics that mean the most, how many people have gotten in contact with Minicorp? How many people have reached out and sent me a DM on Instagram? Or how many people have reached out and sent me a tweet or something or left feedback? That's so much more important to me and it's so much more important to the community because because then I can respond to them and have a one-on-one -on -one connection with the audience, which is exactly what you really want. Not watching like random people somewhere in America watch your view for the first time or somebody in Dubai or whatever it might be. Like what you really want is real world connections with humans where you can positively impact their life or positively give them some sort of really good advice that will hopefully help them to go on to the next chapter in what they're building or teach me something because my God, I got a lot to teach. So I think overall, after four months, I'm very excited. Very excited for the future of YouTube. Very excited for the next part of what we're going to start putting out and what the content is. I need to upgrade like my vlogging format. I need to upgrade the little pieces of, of hardware and things that I use, but realistically it's about consistency. I want to say like a really heartfelt thank you to everybody that does watch and that does interact and the community that we are building. I put out a, a post on, on Instagram where I've asked whether is it better if we pivot a little bit to it being not just about building businesses and entrepreneurialism and all of that kind of stuff, but also marriage between health and building businesses? And I think everybody is a resounding. If you can bring the health aspect to this, that's exactly where we're going to go. That's going to be the next major change, I would say, to the channel and how things are going to change. So again, a massive thank you to everybody who's been watching and all of the feedback and everything. Cannot wait to continue to grow the channel and Onwards and upwards, my friends. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching this next, this last, this, this, this episode. And I will catch you all in the next one.